Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 20th of 2022 well, it is titled Stardust and Comet Tails. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image taken out towards the constellation of Scorpius. And we see two rather different things here, in addition to, of course, a large number of stars present around. But we do see some star dust, which is a dusty area. And that's, in fact, called a reflection nebula, known by the catalog designation of IC4592. And that is a reflection nebula, which is reflecting dust light off of the dust. So dust around a hot star will reflect that light. And the dust is very good at scattering the blue light and not so good at scattering red light. So red light passes straight through the through the dust cloud, whereas the blue light is scattered and appears to come from all directions, giving the cloud a bluish tint to it. So we will see that here and it's rather similar to what happens in our own atmosphere with scattering by molecules within our atmosphere that the blue light comes from all directions and yet when we look at sunlight coming straight through at sunrise or sunset the sun will look very red. Now the other thing that we see here is a comet and that is the comet known as C slash 2017 K2 Panstars. And it is a nicely visible comet for people observing with telescopes that you can see. And right now it is in the constellation of Scorpius, same as this nebula that we're looking at here. And you can see two distinct tails associated with the comet. There's a very long tail pointing up towards slightly towards the upper left hand side. And that is what is known as the dust tail. The dust tail is slightly more massive particles, little clump, tiny clumps of material and molecules that are present. And these are a little bit heavier and lag behind the comet in its orbit. So as the comet move, these are lag lag behind and you might see a slight curvature to that tail. Now the second tail is a little fainter pointing off almost straight to the left. And that is what is known as the ion tail. That is individual atoms and ions that are being pushed back by the solar wind and radiation pressure, which put these straight back. So those are pushed straight pushed back away from the sun. So it gives us an idea of where the sun would be in this image. And that would be off to the right hand side, directly opposite the ion tail. Now, of course, the sun at this point would have been well below the horizon, since we have a very dark sky. So you don't see any sign of the sun, which of course would have become, made the sky overwhelmingly bright, hiding not only the comet, but the nebula and all the stars as well. So we see things today at two very vast differently different distances. One of those is the distance of the comet within our own solar system. And the other several hundred light years away is the dust cloud, the reflection nebula that we see down towards the lower left. So that was our picture of the day for August 20th of 2022. It was titled Stardust and Comet Tales. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Cosmic Crustacean. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.